For my project, I decided to go check out the Lindy Boggs Medical Center. Or, if you look at the other sign, the Lindy Boggs Medical Center. On the way off of campus, I noticed a lot of stop signs that had graffiti all over them. I guess this makes sense, because everyone looks at stop signs, so everyone sees the graffiti on them. One of the most frequent tags I saw on the stop signs was a tag from a guy named Temps. He had tagged all but one of the four stop signs on this particular corner, so I thought he was doing pretty well at getting up, and I thought a lot of people must have been seeing his tags. We then stopped at Eleanor McMain, where I found this equipment shed. I thought it was interesting that Vato Loco had tagged it twice, on top and on bottom. I also thought that it might be tagged entirely by one person, because Vato Loco is vaguely Spanish sounding, and palabra is on there, which is another Spanish word for word. If it's not all one person, I imagine that palabra was saying fuck you to Vato Loco, because he had tagged in between his tags. On the other side of this equipment shed is this throw up, which I couldn't really tell what it says, but you can clearly see the crew markings in the corner there. I was particularly impressed with this due to the small amount of space between the fence and the throw up, and I imagine the graffiti writer having difficulty painting it due to the small space. As we continued toward Lindy Boggs, I saw an old building called the 1111 building. I wasn't sure what it was and I didn't see any graffiti, but it was a really cool looking building so I decided to cross over and check it out just on a whim. When I got there I saw very little graffiti and it took me a couple minutes to realize that the grey ghost had been there. And I was kind of angry because I hadn't seen anything really cool up to that point, and it looked like there had been some really cool pieces there before he was there. As you can see from this video, the Grey Ghost had gone all around the building and covered up a lot of graffiti. The biggest thing I found there was this throw up by Def. You can see his crew tag BCV in the ETH. I really like the bubble letter style of this. The next spot we found that I really liked was on the bike path we were on. We were on an overpass over a highway, and there was a lot of graffiti on the walls of the bike path. This is the first character I had found. I like the character, it's very well drawn, and the caption says, call your own shots. It seems very fitting, but I'm not sure why. I didn't realize that this was a Triceratops until I took this picture. I think it must have been done by the same person who did call your own shots. It looks very similar. I thought it was funny that the caption next to it just said three horns. It seemed very simplistic, but I liked it. I really liked this tag. It serves kind of as a reminder that graffiti is illegal. At this point in the bridge, you're surrounded by all of this graffiti. And when you look around, you think, wow, someone did this, and they weren't caught. When I saw this tag by Solo, I thought it was funny that he had painted over the Grey Ghost. It reminded me of beef, and I thought that perhaps Solo was saying that he has beef with the Grey Ghost painting over everyone's tags. It was at this point that my girlfriend hypothesized that perhaps Professor Ostertag is in fact the Grey Ghost, and that the only reason we do this project is so that we can point out all the places where graffiti is to him, and then he can go and paint over it. I thought this was really hilarious. When we finally made it to Lindy Boggs, I was really disappointed because there were construction crews and it looked like much of the graffiti had been painted over. However, as I biked down the sidewalk, I noticed a couple of really cool pieces in the distance and I asked the construction workers if I could come in and take pictures of them. Although they said I couldn't come into where I was looking, one of the workers offered to bring me in and show me something even cooler. As I walked back with him, we emerged into one of the coolest spaces I've ever seen. It was a courtyard filled with garbage and broken glass and covered in graffiti. There were cool characters, neat throw-ups, funny tags, and even one really cool piece. This tag, by Annecy, reminds me very much of Twist's tag. I can't tell who this piece is by, but it does say, oh snap, with the question, sweet or salty under it, next to a condom. 
very obviously sexually explicit. All in all, seeing and spending time in this serene courtyard made the three and a half mile bike ride well worth it.